to your phones illegally. They're going to tell your kids that they belong to the state. They're going to forcibly inoculate them outside of law. They're going to give missile systems to Al-Qaeda. But you don't film the government's enforcers. And I really see this as a litmus test if your county, your city, your state is a tyranny or not. Maryland, Florida, you name it. Illinois, they arrest you for filming police. In Texas, they don't, generally. In most other states, there's 14 states where they order the police to arrest people that film them. There's famous video out of Maryland where the guy's 200 yards away as riot police beat people for no reason. So they come over and take his phone and then beat him and then don't even care to erase it because they think they're in the right. There's a scum enemy with a camera. Go attack him, arrest him. I mean, do those police think there's going to be any future or any liberty or that they're ever going to see their pension funds in a country like that? The, the police state's being shut up because everything's going to be taken and stolen and shut down. America is slated for total deindustrialization. And only UN and Gen 21 cities in select areas are going to be able to even operate. And that's the new numbers out today. Half of New Yorkers say they're on the verge or going bankrupt now. That's New York State. U.S. economy slows drastically to 0.1%. Folks, when they say we're at 3%, that, that's negative 3. This economy, its engine's blown by Obamacare, by the ship and the jobs to China. It is just, we are under total economic attack. And that's the stated plan. Make you dependent. They're shutting down fisheries nationwide that, that actually produce the baby fish and dump them in the ocean. They're shutting down the lobster hatcheries nationwide. They're not, they don't want to replenish the fish. They want this country shut down. Beef is at record prices, as almost everyone I know in the cattle industry is selling their herd, getting out. They, you're like, but it's record prices. Not for the seller, because it's rigged by computers. There aren't real stockyards anymore. There aren't real auctions anymore. There isn't a real market. It's totally rigged. In fact, I want to get the Paragon Foundation on soon to talk about that. Barry Brownfield, the famous cattleman before he died, host on this network, on talk radio for 60 years on over uh, 200 stations, would document how it's rigged. But I don't believe Barry Brownfield. My family has been in cattle ranching since Texas existed. Well, before that, when it was Mexico, and they're getting out of it, leaving a few cows out on the range to say, oh, we get our uh, you know, tax cut because of that. U.S. regulatory costs are world's 10th economy. After years of rapid growth during the Obama administration, the cost of federal regulations is now bigger than the entire economies of all but nine countries in the world. Listen to that lie in that headline after years of rapid growth during the Obama administration. What, what publication is that? Scroll down so I can... That's Investor's Business Daily. Uh, I mean, that's like saying after years of pigs flying and Easter bunnies dancing and cable or elves hopping. I mean, it's just total baloney. And I'm not just here complaining. We have a criminal government shutting down the country so they can buy it up for pennies on the dollar and make everybody dependent. We are under scientific military attack. Two years ago, Obama set up under Homeland Security and Northcom with an executive order, the Rural Affairs Commission under Northcom and FEMA to aid rural communities during the new sustainability transition. You've got real environmental sustainability, growing organic, growing local, shopping local. But you, their sustainability means you're going to have Pentagon plain clothes in your small town. Agenda 21 comes in with tens of millions, even in towns of 200 people. And they say, we're buying everything, do what we say. We're building a five-story high-rise. And you're all going to get subsidized to live there now. And, and, and it's the only building that gets the free electricity when you move in. This is happening all around Austin. And what it is, is an actual prison they're putting the town in. They're actually building, and this is their own documents, prison towers. In Elgin and places. Actual 
prison towers that are tax exempt to get you to move into them. It's like putting a piece of food on a bear trap to get the bear to go stick its leg in it. I mean, this is scientific. Not because they invent the best technologies or have the most beautiful art and are the rightful leaders of society, but because they're the most deceptive, cunning, manipulative scumbags out there. And it really is a disease in human society how many people will psychopathically or sociopathically look at you in your face and tell you that they're your friend, but really they're just cold-blooded uh, lizard brains that think the fact that you're nice is a sign of weakness for them to exploit and take advantage of. And it's time for good people to basically take the quote uh, that's been attributed to quite a few many people throughout history and put it back at the establishment. And anybody else for that matter that tries to enslave us or push us around, don't take my kindness as weakness. And it's time for good people to stand up against evil wherever you run into it. It is only men our acquiescence that has allowed this corruption to grow because basic food needs and shelter needs have been available. Humans at a subconscious level take it then that everything must be all right, even as cultural creeping death is being developed and deployed all around us. By every metric, every major university has put out the reports. We've covered them. You've seen them in the news that literacy is dropping, health is dropping, uh, people being able to navigate complex tasks is dropping. The language is, is, is contracting. People are uh, less honorable. Corruption is increasing. And basic liberties are being eroded. Economic liberties, religious liberties, the right to travel, the right to not have everything you do be surveilled. There is a revolution by the parasites and by the social engineers and the control freaks against humanity. And knowing that that's going on and knowing that their psychological warfare tactic of the last 30 years to say there is no corruption, you're not being assaulted, nothing's happening, is nothing more than the psychological technique of gaslighting. It's where you walk up and punch somebody in the nose, and then they go, you punched me in the nose. You go, no, I didn't. What's wrong with you? You just fell down and hit your head. And the average weak-minded person will go, I did. I could swear you just punched me in the nose. I mean, I'm bleeding. No, no, no. Or you catch your neighbor when you walk in your house in the dark with a jewelry box in their hands, and they're like, oh, I, I, I saw somebody over here, and I, I chased him down and got this back from him. I... I, you, and, and you don't want to have the confrontation with your neighbor, Bob. And so you go, okay, Bob, well, where are they? And then you, you let Bob leave and say, well, thanks. Let's call the police. What do they look like, Bob? Where'd they break in, Bob? I don't see anything broken into, Bob. You're like, well, I won't call the police. We'll keep our eyes out, Bob, because you kind of know it was Bob. And then about a week later, the guy's like, uh, Hey, did you take my plant, Jim? You're like, no, Bob, I, I didn't take your plant off your front porch. Uh-huh, because that's how those people operate. When you don't go after Bob for breaking in your house, next Bob is going to see you as an enemy because you know he's a thief. And Bob is, is going to say that you're stealing from him. See, I've learned how the psychology of this scum works. They're going to call you because you want to keep your private property, keep your children, keep your guns, keep your free market, keep your prosperity, keep your liberty, keep your religion. Why, you're an extremist terrorist. Why, you're a racist. Why, why you're a conspiracy theorist. You're paranoid because you don't like all the power being masked around you and all the checks and balances being taken and all the fines and fees and banker bailouts and the government funding Al-Qaeda. You're the problem. America, you only give a 6% approval rating to Congress because you're out of step. You're weird. You should love Congress. Upwards of 90% in major polls believe Kennedy was killed by a conspiracy with the government. 90% of you are out of touch. You're crazy. The government and the mainstream media, 90% of you are wrong.
94% of you that don't like Congress, you're a sick terrorist. And the government is watching you, and it knows best, and it's got the police, and the bureaucrats, and the psychologists, and the psychiatrists, and the media people, and the church is bought off, and they're going to point their finger at you and tell the 94%, you're bad, you're bad. We're on the march.